uh, kind of seen this before, I'd say. Um, you know, kind of got uh, a little bit, a little bit expanded upon on this lab. Get down here. So we've got our Proxmox stuff still running. We've got our layer two still going. This still does basically everything for the house, uh, for this lab. And we have added this thing, which costs more than a couple cars that I have. Um, this is an N5860 uh, uh, data data planner, uh, data center switch. Um, I was trying to say data plane, but uh, this thing is pretty pretty amazing. Um, it has four gigs of SD RAM, so it can run full table, IPv4 and IPv6, in a switch form factor. Um, in this particular um, lab, we're going to take our um, port 56 100 gig DAC to our Celestica, and we're going to be running the Celestica layer 2 for the time being. Um, and then port 48, um, I have uplinked for a, sep a separate test here. Um, otherwise, my management is plugged in. Um, this thing is expensive. Was, I think it was like 40, 4,700 bucks or 4,800 bucks. Um, but can run full table. Um, so here, here we are logged into the switch. Um, I'll just do a show run, and this is what we're working with here. Um, there's 48 um, 10 gig ports, and there is eight 100 gig ports. Um, it does allow for full BGP tables. There's four gigs of RAM, and it's it's cool. It's a cool ass switch. Um, I have some questions. Uh, well, let me give you the quick plan, I guess. We're going to be peering with Cogent um, in two different ways, and we're going to be peering with Windstream. So, where we're at, these are these are about the three only ways to get a higher than a 10 gig service. Um, where we're at. Um, there's a third option, uh, a fourth option we're looking at, and that fourth option um, is, ex is is pretty dang expensive. So this allows us to use uh, two different provide uh, transit providers to get to Cogent, and one um, Windstream. It's like in the here, it's the incumbent. It's like um, Verizon, SELEC uh, kind of thing. So it is a third uh, path, uh, if you will. Um, down here I've got uh, just an interface I've been using for testing. Um, that's uh, for, uh, port 48, but down here is like the real fun stuff. Um, we're going to be receiving those three uh, full tables. Um, we're going to export those. Um, I'm sorry, we're going to receive our IPs that we have over that, and then we're going to put those IPs out on a VLAN and then leave this platform. So I'm going to try to keep this platform as simple as possible so that we can, we're going to be adding IPv6 to this. I have uh, started playing with that. Um, does, uh, I have no idea if it works or not yet. The, um, Router, it's our IAS um, that we set up, and it is going to be uh, router BGP, yeah. router BGP 399347. We're in the router config, and I want to uh, network no network uh, 204. 
dot one five dot four three dot zero. It takes it right away. Okay, but let's go ahead and try this one more time. Thirty-eight dot one 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 dot one three seven dot zero. It tells me that I need to put the mask in first. Mask two five five two five five two five five zero. Cool. So now I've removed that network. All right. Well, let's flip that around. Let's go ahead and add that network back. And let's check that. Cool. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. Let's check this other network. Yep. Mask 255255250. Show run. It doesn't fucking put the mask and it's driving me a little bit bonkers. So let's try one more. Wow, I accepted that. Okay. So it allows me to add that network. Huh. But will it no network? And it accepts no extra mask. So I can just do this. Nope, doesn't like that. But if I do this, it'll accept that. So I don't know what is taking place there. Um, I don't know if because the first time I built the BGP router, I used this IP. Um, or, yeah. But I'm going to share this video with... Uh, FS and hopefully they can help me out. Um, let's go ahead and exit the router. We'll go um, inter interface te zero slash forty eight. Cool. And we got proxy ARP uh, on IP proxy ARP. So no IP proxy ARP. Uh, And let's do um, switch port. And let's do show run. So we've gone ahead and we've deleted the config there. Let's do um, interface te zero slash forty eight. Uh, maybe we want to make this an IPv six interface. We're going to do uh, IPv six enable. Uh oh, maybe that's not what we're doing. Uh, IPv6. Enable. Oh. Oh, I see what I've done. Um, IP address IPv6 enable. Well, maybe I have no idea. 1.1.1.1. Oh, I see. Yep, I see exactly what I'm doing. Interface TE 0 slash 48. There we go. So I could do IPv6 enable. Oh, what are you doing to me? Oh, as you guys can see, I'm not not super good at this. Um, oh, duh. No switch port. Now I could do IPv6 enable. There we go. Good gosh. Okay, so now we do a show run. I got IPv6 on the port. Um, and let's kind of, we could do a bunch of different things, but yeah, I'm, I'm, that right there is what I'm mostly confused about. So router BGP 
347. Um, no network 204.15.0.0. See, it, it won't accept that 255.255.0.0. .255 .0 .0. So I got my two subnets, they're chilling. But this just will not do right. Four three. I'm gonna do two five five. Yep, accepts the command. Show run but it's not going to show me there. So, I don't know. It's what it is. Um, I'm going to get this thing in production and really, really excited about it. Um, but, good fun. Thanks, uh, I guess, everybody that still, still gives a shit. <laughs>